everyone hello and welcome back to another episode of am i wearing pants while i film all of these videos who knows that's the fun only i am the one with all the answers so by the time you're clicking on this video it's a little bit later in the day the breaking news happened hours ago and you probably are already well aware hell the title and the thumbnail have already spoiled it for you if you didn't know already but Today's breaking news of the day is that the first big veteran domino has fallen for the Vikings this offseason. They have announced that Eric Kendricks, middle linebacker, will not be returning to the team in 2023. He has been released. He will be a free agent. And um, one seriously good career as a Minnesota Viking has come to an end today. Uh, he was a member of the 2015 draft class uh, that was chock full of hits for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, one of the last good ones for Rick Spillman, if I could put it that way. Um, it feels kind of ceremonious for uh, Eric Hendricks to be the first real big-time veteran to uh, be jettisoned from this team following the previous season when uh, Mike Zimmer was let go because Eric Hendricks was a big part of this defense for a number of years. He was basically the center fielder, the shortstop, the captain, if you will. Uh, the guy in the middle running the show, and he was really good. Let's not, you know, let's not forget what Eric Hendricks meant to this team for a number of years. And there was times where I was pounding the table in some of my videos here, calling Eric Hendricks one of the best middle linebackers in the entire league, if um, if memory serves me correctly. I think I did probably a couple of videos on just him alone, uh, talking about just how like outlandishly good he has been for this Minnesota Vikings defense. But the last year didn't quite fit in the Ed Donatel system. It was like trying to put a square peg in a round hole or vice versa. And Eric Hendricks thing has always been, is he's, he's been really fast. He's been able to keep up with people uh, with the likes of like Devonte Adams, for example. And last year, I think we saw the beginning of the end of his ability to maintain uh, that, um, that sort of speed that helps him play man coverage and uh, be a real nuisance in passing lanes uh, against opposing offenses. Um, because we all remember how good, like that's one of the big reasons I felt that he was just so insurmountably important to the Minnesota Vikings during his career is because he was so damn good in pass coverage. And that was, you, you need athletic speedy linebackers to keep up with the elite tight ends and wide receivers of today's offenses here in the NFL. And Eric Hendricks was that guy for a while. But alas, I don't think he has that step quite a bit anymore. And it's nothing against him personally. It's just the nature of aging. Uh, this is what happens when you get to the wrong side of 30 in your NFL career. You start to slow down just enough for it to be noticeable. Just enough for opponents to start getting the kind of separation that makes you go, hmm, I don't think that this is working anymore. At least not at this uh, current salary. So that's the other part of it. The Minnesota Vikings are clearly making this move because... They need cap space. They need cap space desperately. And I believe by next week, you have to be cap compliant. So this is not the last significant move that we're going to see. It's just that the first domino has fallen uh, because they have a lot of work to do before we can get the free agency because we need money to be able to afford free agents. So there's going to be a lot more high-priced veterans getting jettisoned from this team. And Eric Hendricks was the obvious choice because I believe they saved 10 or $11 million to the salary cap. And, uh, you know, it, that's just too much... His contract was just too much for what they were giving him last year. And I kind of thought maybe the hiring of Brian Flores might have saved him, like maybe one more season. They do a, a, a you know, sort of a one-year rework or something. But alas, it's kind of nice to see the Minnesota Vikings uh, just ripping the Band-Aid off, if you will. And that's what's got me excited about Kwesi Adolfo Mensa, the fact that he has no allegiance to these uh, Mike Zimmer, Rick Spielman era players, so he can just at will part ways with them. Now, it is undoubtedly difficult. I'm not saying that this is an easy easy decision whatsoever. Eric Hendricks has meant so much to the team, as I have spoken about on the field and also off the field, which I haven't mentioned yet, but here we go with that part. Um, it's just somebody who was a big time part of the community and just a big time member of the Minnesota Vikings on the field, on the field, off the field. It, 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 was, it, was, the, it was a Swiss Army knife uh, if you will. It's, that's a poor analogy, but my brain's kind of actually broken today, so be lucky that I'm able to manage any of this at all. So uh, Eric Hendricks, his time, tenure with the Minnesota Vikings has come to an end today. What does this mean going forward? Uh, that's the big important question. Uh, this is definitely, as I said, not the last uh, move to happen, but it's good to see that they're willing to do this. It's good to see that they're willing to do this because that means that other veterans are not safe, at least the ones that we know probably should be on their way out or we should probably be trading uh, them to other teams while you can still get some value in return. 
I'm kind of thinking that Adam Thielen and Dalvin Cook are going to be the next two dominoes to fall, given uh, their contributions to the team last year, their current age, and um, where they sit in terms of uh, money against the cap, if you will. So uh, that contract that Dalvin Cook has is no longer team friendly, at least in my opinion. And Adam Thielen being the second highest player on the team currently is just uh, is just a joke because of his production last year. And he's been harping on social media and in podcasts and, you know, interviews that he would like a more expanded role. And I just, I don't think you're going to get a more expanded role, Mr. Adam Thielen, in this offense at your current age and at your current physical capabilities. It was a great story. I would would love for him to retire Minnesota Viking, but I don't think it's going to happen. It just It's just one of those things that seems too obvious, like the Vikings releasing Eric Kendricks today. Does this mean that they're going to tear everything down and completely rebuild from the ground up? I doubt it. I think they still want to be competitive, but it does kind of, you know, hint to the fact that they're telling themselves, hey, we tried to keep everybody last year. It sort of kind of worked, but it also didn't at the same time because we're still no closer to the ultimate goal of winning a Super Bowl that we want. So it is what it is. So let me know what you think about Eric Hendricks being released by the Minnesota Vikings today. That's going to do it for me. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.